This week in PC gaming, a rad survival city builder floats into sight, Tenocon returns, and a stylish retro stealth adventure punches its way into our hearts. I'm James Davenport with PC Gamer, where the PC stands for Pulsating Carapace of Flesh and Impulse, which is the role you take on not only in life, but in Cruelty Squad, one of our highest reviewed games of the year yet. Flying Cities, F1 Racing, and Furtive Men. Here's a look at this week's new releases. Hitman meets Vice City in this retro sci-fi stealth game. Sneak and super punch your way through spooky laboratories, transforming into enemies, slowing time, and teleporting all over the friggin' place in The Chameleon. I'm loving the style on display here, and I'm hoping it doesn't sneak by my this is good detector when it releases on July 13th. What if the hunter-gatherer lifestyle made a big comeback, but let us keep one treat from the old world? Cities. Dream Engines is a city builder that keeps your metropolis on the move. You plant your flying city for as long as possible, sucking up resources and collecting stores of food while beating back the dream plague. Making the tough decision to stay put or to book it for a new spot makes for an interesting spin on city building. We'll be sure to book a flight when it hits early access, July 14th. Hey, if it's your thing, you already know if you're gonna buy it or not, but uh, F1 2021 is the next licensed F1 game from Codemasters, published by EA. We liked the last one a bit, praising its deep career mode and tactical racing simulation, and as long as all that stuff is kept intact alongside the new stuff, like the new story mode, two-player career mode, split-screen features will be golden, and all that stuff sounds pretty good. It's out July 16th. A great modern brawler is getting even better with the Mr. X Nightmare expansion. And no, 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 it's not Resident Evil 2's Mr. X, I'm so sorry. No banana hammock mods for you. Uh, three new characters are on the way though. A new survival mode with weekly challenges and the ability to build your own character with a distinct moveset. All of it's coming to Streets of Rage 4 on July 15th. Digital Extremes is back with another digital show, Tenacon 20. 21 is happening July 17th, a day of cosplay showcases, developer panels, and big announcements for the future of Warframe. I'm not a Warframe player, so I have no idea what to expect, but I do expect it to be about war, space, and to continue to be free to play, which is, uh, you know, those are all exciting terms there in a row. Hooray. It's happening July 17th. Did I say that? I did. I did say that. This Week in PC Gaming was brought to you by Memories. Without them, we'd be unmoored from our shared temporal spatial notion of reality, adrift and aimless and tragically unable to perceive video games. So, thanks for the memories, Memories. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. And that's it for this week in PC Gaming. For more computer gaming news, reviews, whatever you need to know, go to PCGamer.com and check out the PC Gamer Show. It's a podcast that I host. This week we are talking about the announcement of Assassin's Creed Infinity, sort of a living, ongoing, one-stop shop for the future of Assassin's Creed. We're going to talk about what that means. Do we like it? Yes? No? Uh, how do we feel about the inevitable future in which every game becomes a service? Not great, personally, but uh, we have dissenters. We have dissenters on the show. Yeah, but uh, until next week, don't forget to game on.